guys, it's Jamie's birthday, and as a surprise, I'm getting this tattooed on my back. It's fake, but we're gonna pretend it's real, and we're gonna see his reaction. Oh! There's no way in hell, Sophie Havu. Are you joking? No, it's so good. That's not real? Yeah, it is. Sophie, it's not real. Just, just don't, because that's not... Guys, before the episode starts, we have a warning for you. Listen to the whole episode to the end of the episode because, Sophie... We have a huge announcement. We have a huge announcement. I mean huge. It's bigger than big. Think of something big. It's bigger than Mount Everest. Oh yeah, it's bigger than that. So listen to the end of the episode to hear the huge news. All right. Let's begin the episode. Uh, all right, then. All right. Top accent, that's fit. <laughs> My God, that was an aggressive start. Oh, how's it, eh? How's it? Hey, how's it? How's it? How's it, eh? You oak. <laughs> you're a big oak. Bre, bre. <laughs> oak. You're a big oak. Why are they like, you're a... Yeah, you're a big oak. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> uh, that mouth. No, no, no. Memories of you when we were in Cape Town. Like, I'm like, what other things do you say? You're fucking oak. <laughs> no, wait, I've got it in my mind. You trying to do this South Chow. African? They go chow. I'm from Birmingham. Do you want some Michael? That's Liverpudlian. No, it isn't. That. You do it again. I'm from Birmingham. Do you want some Michael? <laughs> I'm 33 years old. I'm from what? Ireland. That's hold on one second. Do your Birmingham accent. I'm, from, I'm from Birmingham. Birmingham. <laughs> Do some my cup. I think that's a brand new accent. My cup. My cup. I learned that in drama. No, she get, told me no, how to say makeup hi, was hi, my cup. Hi. Get down. <laughs> hi. Get down the braces. I'm so conscious I should say that kale thing. You sure I don't have kale in my teeth? You want to know what I want? <laughs> This is really discriminating. Tell you what, you get down races and then we'll talk. That's Birmingham. That's Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Thomas Shelby. Oh, Thomas Shelby. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? <laughs> okay, wait. What's another Okay, ready? Do it. Do it. Let's do Okay. Scene. Okay. This no, scene. I'm not good at accents. Everyone Producer Jack, like, oh, give us coming. a scene. What we need to do, give us a scene, and 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 I will be Birmingham, and what's happening in the scene, and we'll act it out. And who am I, as so? You you guys do your proposal so in the accent. You knock at the door. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, knock at the door. Come in. You all right? No, this is not okay. It's not that. Why? So if I. <laughs> I've got something to ask. Ready? I've got something to ask you. Ready? What is it, Jamie? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it, Jamie? Jamie, what is it, Jamie? Will you marry me? <laughs> Why have you had a stroke? <laughs> Oh, will I marry you? <laughs> What's going on? What's fucking you, no? The accent is so bad. Oh, what? Will I marry you? <laughs> Why is it a question? <laughs> they what? go up at the end. <laughs> they go up. What do you mean? The accent goes up. <laughs> okay, right, do it in our own. Oh, you want me to marry you? That's absolutely grand. I'd, I'd fucking love to marry you. <laughs> Do an American accent. Here we go. No. Try it. Come on. Okay, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so, yeah, I would love to marry you. That's good. There you go. All right. I mean, look, that was good fun. Do a uh, South African. How's the day? It's fit South African, actually. Yeah, it, all the accents are hot and sexy, aren't they? <sighs> okay, listen, should we begin the episode, honey, yes. properly? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Newlyweds. <laughs> podcast it's jamie and sophie here it's episode what soph it is episode 18 <laughs> 18 it's episode 15 i think it is big episode today my birthday it is jamie's birthday 
And actually, we're just thrilled that you are here, you're thriving, and you're not just 30. Yeah. 30 plus. We're not going to... I'm I'm upset about my age at the moment. I think I'm going through a midlife crisis. Yeah, it's midlife. It's not quarter life anymore. It's midlife crisis. Well, it's not midlife, no. It is. Midlife would be the middle of your life. I'm not in the middle of my life. If touch wood, if if I grow really old, I'm not in the middle of my life. Well, you're near to the end. <laughs> no, I'm not near to the end. By the way, we're recording this before it's my birthday. And you always with presents and things like that, you always let me know. What... I haven't let you know. You haven't? Yeah. What is it? Well, obviously not going to let you know. You, How desperate are you to tell me? Mm. Sophie tells me every single year. Not really, because uh, there's nothing thrilling or exciting. And look, I like giving presents. It gives me a thrill. You, there's nothing nice about giving you a present. Because Why? you are so unpleased by every present. I love We've getting... We've gone over this a million times. No, you have... You will go out. I'll get it I know you, what you've got. I reckon... And you'll go out and get the nicer version. <laughs> I'll be like, perfect. I think I know what you've got me as a present. What? I think you've got me a suitcase. No. <laughs> I think what, you... What, with the little mouse inside? <laughs> <laughs> what? I think you've got me a suitcase, haven't you? <sighs> no, why would you do that? Have you? No. <laughs> you have. If I, I'm taking you back now. That's so... F- Wait, I don't actually know you've got me but a suitcase. you just ruined that for me. I, I told, producer, what did I tell you? I said, I have you actually got a guest? That was a complete and utter guest. And you've told me for the fourth year in a row. You just tricked me. They just saw you. You <laughs> gaslighted me <laughs> on air. You manipulative, <laughs> gaslighting motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't manipulate you or gaslight you. You manipulated me. You twisted my arm. You fooled me and you what? pulled the wool over my eyes. I didn't put any wool over your eyes. You did. Honey, I just said to you, I guessed a present and well, you just admitted... Fine, it's going back. Well, why didn't you lie? Because I do got told to be honest in a marriage. <laughs> you don't need to be honest about a surprise. It's not a surprise. You asked me a question, I gave you the answer. Anyway, <laughs> you're ruining it. Let's move on. <laughs> Ugh. So upsetting. You don't care. You don't care. I really want to... Do you know what I want from you as a surprise for oh my birthday? Oh my gosh, a hug. Maybe, actually, Maybe yeah. Maybe what? So if he doesn't get a gut, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out to, to all the listeners. Mm-hmm. Whether you're... In a relationship, if you're male or female, and you're whatever you're in a relationship, I have this thing now where Sophie get you get all the emotional, uh, the all the emotion from me. So when we lie in bed at night, I have to I touch you. I have to touch your bum. <laughs> no, not and my stroke, bum. Yeah. My back or my bum. You just choose to put your hand on my bum. It's not like he's like molesting my bum. You just you now say when we lie in bed, you go like, can you get you just get in the crack? That's what you said to me the other <laughs> no. night. You want me to rest my palm in the floor no. in, like it's a ledge. <laughs> <laughs> no. you That's your favorite spot when I just rest it, my hand in there, like Not I put in a- my butt ass crack. Are you okay? <laughs> Scream it! I quite like it. It's rested in there like that. My, how big do you think my asshole is? <laughs> oh, no, it's, you rest it on my bum. Yeah, you like, like that. Like ledge, yeah. yeah it's like... I don't like my bum ain't like ledge. <laughs> but you do. And then I give you all the emotions I touch you. You don't give me this sort of a... Uh... I, I when when I ask for a cuddle or a hug, you make exactly no, that because, face. Guys, you make I exactly can't. that face. I'm putting it out here. I don't like to eat my food and have to mid mouthful give you a hug or a kiss. <laughs> I'm enjoying a meal. I've worked hard all day to be able to eat this meal, and you're asking me to pause. <laughs> what? And like with you ma- hunted it down. Yeah, maybe I did. <laughs> and it you're came up- in a box. <laughs> Oh, would you hunt it down? Well, you hunted it down, made it, and then put it in the box and, with a little seal. <laughs> Sorry. It's my birthday. I can do what I want. It's not even your birthday. It's your birthday on Friday, you bitch. <laughs> and you just ask for hugs at the wrong times. And then you get complain when you don't get one at that exact moment. I'm like, oh my God. If I had to give you a hug at every second that you wanted a hug, I would never be walking through life because I'd just be standing on your shoulder giving you a hug all day. Standing on my shoulder. Yeah. So I mean, there's a new other thing which she does is <clears throat> we, I have important Zoom calls. So I, I'll, get my lap, I'll get my laptop up, I'll sit in the kitchen and I'm on a Zoom <laughs> and it's really important and I have to keep a straight face and I'm being very, you know, important. Sophie walks in the background behind the screen and suddenly <laughs> looks at me, pulls down her pants every time and starts smacking her bum, bare naked butt, at me 
behind the screen and then looks at me and says, you like that? <laughs> you do. You do. I, you do. I do. And I'm talking about like the problem that I'm having with Tesco's and you're going, you like that? <laughs> I just get so much joy out of doing it. It's so funny. And then she does this me. salsa dance. You do this salsa dance out of the room. <laughs> so, to be fair, I'm, I'm more like my it's, snake hips. It's, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. No, but it's just so funny. You're on a Zoom. I don't know why I get such a thrill from seeing him go red and about to converse with laughter and he can't laugh and it really makes me laugh. So, yeah. That's that. Oh, God. What happened the other day when that person came into the house? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... Why are you looking I'm weird? I'm really scared that, like, she's going to watch this. Because I feel re- very confused about it and it's <clears throat> it's living rent-free in my mind what happened. I don't understand it. It was the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. Wasn't it weird? You tell the story. Okay, I ordered a, a massage on the weekend that I thought was going to be, like, really lovely and this... <laughs> Lady who is very lovely comes in and she said, Is your wife? I'm not going to do the accent. No, she didn't. She said, Oh, your wife's here. She said, Oh, your wife's here. And I went, You know, my wife? Anyway- I'm lying on the sofa eating frozen grapes with a blanket <laughs> over me on a Sunday. I like keeping my eyes open because I'm just like about to go into a nap. It's about 4 p.m. Yeah. For reference. Yeah. She comes straight in. She runs up to Sophie, grabs her face, and goes, Oh, oh. No, no, and- she cradles my head, my head on the sofa and kisses me all over my face. And I was like, hello. And she, I thought you knew. I went, hello. She's never met her in, a, in her life. And then she looked at me and went, oh, you're pregnant. And I went, am I? Honestly, it was so weird. I don't know whether she thought I was someone else. I, I still... To the point where then you went upstairs and did a pregnancy test. Yeah, it was so weird. Because of masseuse. <laughs> yeah, but then I kept saying, why do you think I'm pregnant? And then Jamie's having his massage and I creep back into the room after half an hour and I'm like, hi, excuse me, Sue, are you a psychic? Because I didn't understand why she was hugging me. It was really weird. And she was like, no, I just think you've got nice energy. Didn't she say that? But she said you had a maid. That's why the energy reminded but me. But I think she was a bit shocked because I think she must have thought of someone else. But she sort of looked at me when I like got off. <clears throat> off the sofa and was a bit like oh but you know what happened to me then with the 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 masseuse bed i haven't told you this no oh i haven't told you this okay she then brought out her little masseuse bed honestly i think she had got the mini mini one because (laughs) my head was off the front of it there was no head space and my my knees were off the back so i had to like (laughs) i I had to squish down my knees from i'm kid you not from above my and knees. You're short. And I'm little. I'm not short. Just like, I'm petite. Med- I'm petite. I'm not even petite. Um, my legs from my my hips were off the back of the bed. So I was like, I was like almost planking for the entire <laughs> massage. I was in a plank. No, you were. I was. I was in a plank. You were like a seal. Just like, oh, head up, feet up. I have not been an absolute terror. Oh. Right, should we get on with the podcast? With this the is, we are doing it, honey. Let's read some listeners' messages. Not yet, baby. We got There's so much more to get through. Oh, is that like what? Well, I don't know. Also, birthday, we've got a lovely dinner coming up. We're, we've decided together that we're like, we're, I'm on like, I'm not, I'm going to stop drinking, I think, for a bit. But to put it out there. Only because last weekend was one of the worst times at, I, apparently I came home and had a fight with you in bed. What happened? So I, we went to our friend's birthday party. So much fun. I left at six or something and Jamie Can you home. explain what I exactly was like? Why would you want everyone to know? Was it bad? Okay, so Jamie comes home and he punches me six times in the bed at 1am. <laughs> I'm fast asleep, obviously. I didn't punch you. Yeah, you did. You were like, <gasps> and then you whipped the duvet <laughs> off me and held it staring at me <laughs> held it down so I couldn't get it off and we by the way this fucker over here puts a fan on my face all night I'm like level 16 I was like what the hell there's some freak in my bed and 
he's lying there staring at me, wrapping the caterpillaring himself up into this little duvet. I couldn't get any of it. You're thrashing all night. It was awful. Was I really thrashing yeah. that bad all night? Yeah, you were thrashing. Thrashing so bad. I don't think I'm that bad when I I need to stop. you not your chat is not great when you're drunk. Like everyone else has good is funny. No one really changes that much. You are like, oof. Give me some earbuds. Are you serious? Yeah. Like what? Give it to me. Well, just imagine you now. You've never had a coffee before. Yeah. You you are full of energy. Uh-huh. You talk at one thing and about the other. What the hell? I, 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 I speak a lot. Yeah, you speak a lot. So okay. So add some like, you know, alcohol in the mix and you're bouncing off the walls. Okay. Anyway, honey, uh, I'm excited that it's my birthday. I... I'm excited that you got me a present. We're going to the Chinese restaurant, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. Are you not? I I, I don't like Chinese, but I like it because you like it. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be a nice little meal. Yeah. I'm going to have some prawn crackers. <laughs> no, don't say that. No. See, I feel bad that then we'll be You going. don't feel bad. I said four times, you know, I don't like Chinese. And you're like, yeah, but I do. And it's my birthday. Honey, I tried to change it. To a beef brisket. To, I a, was to like, a barbecue, yeah. I thought that'd be nice. In the rain? Not in the rain. It was an outside food, food store. Yeah, but that's lovely. We but get... a two hours drive away. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Was it really? Yeah. All right, well, we're going for this dinner. I'm very excited. And look, maybe you'll give me another little surprise. And all I want for my birthday is just to tell me that you love me a lot, give me a lot of hugs, and I'm perfect for that. You got it, sister. Thank you, brother. I love you. Love you. Did you make me a perm or anything? No. Okay, honey. All right, you're so desperate to get into listeners' messages. Shall we do it? Oh, my gosh, yes. Are you ready for it? Always. How ready? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> okay, it's time for... Listeners' messages. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Listener's Messages um, with my lovely wife, Sophie. Um, honey, as always, just a big thank you to everyone. Oh, guys, you rock. That sounded... The house down. So... Well, just... I don't have your energy all the time, you know? Well, I'm sorry. You don't need that. It's not about having my energy. It was sincere. It was? Yeah. All right. I'm okay. very grateful. I think that's so funny. That's why I've been desperate to get onto them this whole time. <laughs> okay. Shall I kick off the first one? Or no, you, to... you go for it. All right, I'll go for the first one. We have our listeners' message message from Nicole. One time, me and my boyfriend were cooking a stunning meal, which required a considerable... Sorry. Sorry, go. Sorry, Considerable. <laughs> One time, me and my boyfriend were cooking a stunning meal, which required a considerable amount of chilli. The meal was a great success. But after the evening came to a close and we both decided to start having sex in the kitchen, as you do. This is where the evening takes a turn. Midway through sex, I start to feel a raging burn in the downstairs area. Chilli. But it gets worse, as my BF occasionally enjoys a finger up the bum. Well, around the same time, he starts to scream <laughs> in pain. Five minutes pass and we're both screaming in pain, rolling around the kitchen like complete idiots. I'm holding my vagina and he's holding his bum. The pain was so unbearable, we both started crying, which made it a lot worse. As when we began to rub our eyes, the chili stung them as well. We were blind, naked, and both our genitals were on fire. It gets worse. Because at that exact moment, my housemate gets back early from a date she was meant to be on. We are panicking for our clothes, which I can't even see past the tears and the burn of the eyes. I scream to her, don't come in the kitchen, please. Which of course she does. She screams with laughter, watching both my boyfriend and myself literally on the floor, naked, crying. It's safe to say I'm never cooking with chilli again. Or at least I defo wash my hands next time. Oh my God, that's genius. Have you ever done anything like that? Oh, you do remember that, like... um wash it was called like fresh tea tree shampoo yeah and boys used to have it yes and i once an ex-boyfriend had it and i obviously washed myself and i was like ah! in the bathroom yeah that's my only time <laughs> oh no once someone had um tiger balm and i put it i think it's for like muscles and i put it on night <gasps> at night and i put it all over my lips. Oh like my they were dry anyway. God. And I woke up in the morning and I'm not joking. It looked like 
I'd been damaged in the mouth. You put tiger balm yeah. over I your lips. I know what it is. I'm sure that I'm sure it was toxic. Oh, I once had that. That is the worst pain ever. I'm not kidding you. I went to boarding school. There was tea tree shampoo and I was washing myself and I obviously didn't wash my penis and I just got back into bed. Next morning, it was all burnt. Wait, why did you not? Why did you? I have no idea. You obviously were wanking with tea tree oil. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> You're fucking wank. What the hell at school, you little pervert? No, I can't call a child a pervert. I was not. I was. <laughs> what? Did you just realise you said that as you said it? Why would you do that tea tree oil? I was not. Let's get some peppermint oil and wank. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, no. I was not, Sophie. I wasn't. I so actually was... you, what, you washed your body with tea tree oil? Yeah, it, was, it was tea tree shampoo. And I washed myself and I just forgot. Have you ever walked out the shower and haven't like washed your armpits even though you've got soap still on them? You're hideous. <laughs> I'm not. Also, that's so dumb. It's literally to burn spots off. It's not. It's a shampoo. It's a shampoo. Well, that's for nits. If you've got nits. <laughs> it wasn't for nits. Yeah, it is. You would have been a nitty, nitty girl. I never had nits. Let, come here. Let me scrape them out. Oh, uh, it's awful. Do you remember? <laughs> with your hair. That was actually wild. Do kids still get that? Because yeah. none of our friends who have kids ever knit to comb their kids. I don't think. Like... There was once a girl at my school, but God bless her, her hair was moving because she had so many nits in it. <laughs> what is wrong with you as a child? It wasn't me. Bring tiger balm on your lips and your friend's hair is moving. She wasn't my friend. She was at my school in like year below me or something. What other weird things happened at your school? Like so many strange things. Yeah, it was quite a weird school. Like I definitely saw her hair move though. That is scary. Yeah, but poor girl. Okay. She had very thick hair. All right. Here we go. Next okay. listener's messages. Here we go. This is anonymous. Oh, here we go. I had a strange experience with a boy who always coughed, who would always cough during sex, I can imagine. Anyway, one day he was a little ill, some small flu, and we had sex, and it was a big build-up, a really big build-up. It lasted ages. I think he was a little bit drunk. You know what it's like. And then out of nowhere, mystery position, boom, a gigantic orgasm, orgasm that exploded into a coughing fit. He coughed so much, he thrusted me into the, into, he thrusted into me and I screamed. It didn't stop his coughing and I suddenly, and suddenly a giant wet thing hit my forehead. I d no, I actually feel sick. What? What? Well, can you not guess? No. I didn't know what it was, but I was scared. I saw his face in the coughing stop. He looked horrified. I actually feel sick. I screamed, what was it? I ran to the bathroom only to see a piece of giant green phlegm dribble down my face. I immediately threw up in the sink, hitting the mirror and covering the wall after 30... I actually feel really sick. I actually don't think I can read that. Uh... After 30 minutes of cleaning and him apologising, we silently went to bed. We laugh about it now, although we're just friends. I don't think that accident was related to our breakup, but it probably didn't help. Well, good for you. Good on you, because I would have broken up with him the second. Did you ever hear that story? No, of... I'm really... That's, that is... That, uh, yes. to me, Flem is up there with one of the greatest... Sno <clears throat> Bogey, Snot and Flem. No. Did you ever Put hear... Put them away. Did my friend... I, 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 my, I think I've saw the story before, but maybe I haven't. Uh, my friend's um, brother told me the story once that this person got on a tube and uh, they they sat down on the tube and, and they fell asleep on the tube. And a drunk, kind of sloppy, like, guy, like, I mean, looked a bit odd, got on the train and he was coughing and spluttering and all this kind of thing and sat next to the person sleeping on the train. The person who was drunk <laughs> coughed and <coughs> coughed and the green phlegmy bit landed on the person who was sleeping no! shoulder uh... there they, and everyone saw it and they were like oh my god like, oh my god anyway the next stop the guy got off who was drunk offering spluttering and the person was still sleeping there as the tube no. as the tube pulled off it went off like this like that the train moved like that so the person woke up everyone's watching they woke and the person went oh oh <laughs> <laughs> sucked it up no. off their shoulder <laughs> I'm really, no. I'm really upset. I feel so sick. I feel really sick. 
That is so gross. Why would you ever suck up your own fucking phlegm? <laughs> no, I I've told you about the time Nick. Okay, I've gone. I've I've told you about the time Nick did it to me. Nick. When I was on my, when I was on a, I was on a mini bus. We were on a school trip and we we're going to Normandy. And my friend Nick and I had a big argument because he kept like blowing his nose into his hand and throwing it out the window. Ah! And I was like, Nick, you're so rank, and I just don't like phlegm and stuff like that. Anyway, he went like this, went <laughs> blew into his hand and showed it to me, and it looked like he had squeezed a Ninja Turtle. It was like fully, and he went. <laughs> Like that. Oh no, Jamie, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> like, I really don't like this one today. I think it's too much, actually, all the listeners to listen to. That is so vile what I have to tell you, Mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, go. So me and my friends, we're travelling in South America. And this guy, poor guy, was obviously not very well. And he was coughing and spluttering. And... <laughs> <laughs> He coughed and spluttered, and as he did it, he had a beard. And I could see there was, like, loads of bits of food in his beard. And he was coughing and spluttering sick, and it was coughing and spluttering everywhere. And he coughed all over me and my friends, but all of us, like, ducked. <laughs> we just carried on walking, like, head down, like, we, you know. And ten minutes later, I was like, oh, she was sick. <laughs> in her eyebrows, on her hair, like, bits of carrot. I'm not kidding. <laughs> she was like, where should we go for lunch? And I was like, <gasps> tiny bits of sick just all over her face. <laughs> so, no, okay, another one. It's the same trip. Where, no, another one, yeah. same yeah, trip okay. where someone had human shit on oh, Yeah, leg. that same person, actually. Okay, there's one of my friends, by the way, very good friend. We went, climbed up um, a volcano in Guatemala and everyone got the shits, like, so bad. I mean, if I could tell you the story. Like, I thought I was going to die. I got there. We went, We stayed in a tent with these Australian boys. I think I've told the story. And I was so, so cold. Good. And the Australian guy told me to get naked in the in the sleeping bag with <laughs> and him. And Sophie was like, all right. <laughs> he said that. No, but I think it's true. He said that the only way, like, you... Because I was obviously in, like, so many clothes up this volcano. But also really ill-equipped. And was th- really worried I was going to die of hypothermia. <laughs> you heard the guy. You heard the Australian... I heard the Australian who literally had a wife beater and shorts I heard him he, I kept saying I'm gonna die I'm so cold and I heard him go to the tour man how cold do you have to be to die and I was like <laughs> um, and anyway, how cold was it I, from my nose was I. my hands when I got down for two, like two days was so swollen from like the pressure or something it was not a good trip very unwell I travelled up there with just a stick and little hot pants and tra- trainers we were climbing up a five day hike up an active volcano and we, when we were up we were up by snow I was like what and when we were down we were down <laughs> sorry okay right anyway so why we get- did you have a stick I don't know. I think you could have bought them for like 20 quid. So I thought this will help me. It didn't because I was just, it was an actual stick. Just a stick. Yeah. And then I, I had, and then I found like a man on the middle of the mountain and I said, I'm going to pay you to carry my bags up. So off he traveled behind me carrying my bags. <laughs> what? On earth yeah. Well, no, but we got, we got you scammed. Found a man. We just got scammed. On the because you, we got scammed. So you could have gone like with the real tour guys or you yeah. could, we got, we got these random guys. These, yeah. Guatemalan people, is that what you call them? Yeah. They came up to us on the street and they were like, I'll give it to you for half price if you come on our trip. Okay, fine. So, so you we haggled down. And then as we were going, they were like red tape and yellow tape being like, don't go up this route. And off we were picking it off, going up it. I was like, we're definitely all going to die. And we get to the top, sleeping like about naked with this Australian bloke. I was putting my head in his armpit for he, his sweaty armpit. That's how cold it was. And suddenly rumble in the jungle. I look at my friend Naomi and I'm like, have to go to the loo so we go out next thing I know I hear and I hear the whole camp had (laughs) diarrhea and vomit like you've never known so by the time it was morning still my tummy's not good no one says I'm looking for a piece of ground that I can go to the loo on that hasn't got shit on it like I'm literally stepping over human poo and we're like, right, we've got it. We're on our way home now. And as I'm going to the loo, someone else had climbed to a higher peak and is just waving down below me. It was just, the whole thing was awful. And as we're running down, we're, we get back to the town and we're running, running, running through it. Splatters all up her leg. And I was like, by the way, it's boiling hot at the bottom. I was like, there was nowhere. She had human shit, just splatters. <laughs> running through. I think we both did. From, from 
from the splash <laughs> It must have been from that. I always thought she'd like strod in some a puzzle of someone's shed. <laughs> it was a splash because of the force it came out. <laughs> anyway, we both ended up throwing our trainers away before we got to the hostel. What's and we would like she oh, like like she done a cross country run. Yeah, it was like she'd been in cross country run. We've been trekking for a whole day and I was like I don't think there was any rain. Where has this wet mud come from? And obviously, maybe it's... Oh, my God. It's so it good. good. It's so good. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. You ready for this? I got another listener's message. You ready for this one? It's from Ben. One time... It's <laughs> so childish. One time I farted so loudly in a cinema, the lecturer thought someone had scraped the table across the ground. <laughs> I was so embarrassed, I let out another fart. But this time it was tight, slow and squeaky sounding. The lecturer turned around again and walked in our direction. He yelled at us to stop scraping the tables across the ground. He then went to move them only to realise that he did not Why is it so good? So oh my god, I was good. in the gym this morning. So I had a sauna good. and then I was in the shower. <laughs> Somebody in the shower next to me clearly was trying to like do whatever silently. They let out the biggest part <laughs> I've ever heard. And I was just dying. I just thought, so oh, good. I would not be able to die. Oh, it's so good. Ah. Mm. Oh. The look of confusion on his face was priceless. I didn't know what hit him harder, with him figuring out all the smell that drafted his oh, way. Oh, no. Sorry, 2018 English lit class. It was me that farted like a moving table. Genius. Okay, so we've got one from Anonymous, but we are going to call him Sam for the use of the story. Amazing. Okay, please keep me and all my parents will kill me. I grew up in a strictly religious household and sex was very much off the conversation off the conversation at the family table. I was quite frankly fa- terrified to masturbate. Masturbate? Masturbate? How do I say it? You say it whatever way you want. No, but what, how do you say it, guy? Like, masturbate? Masturbate. Masturbate. Yeah, that's what I would have said. Masturbate. Right. Well, sorry, we don't masturbate as often as you do, teacher. In fact, I didn't until I was 17. I didn't plan on masturbating, but one day hoovering around the house, I misplaced the hoover and it stuck to my genital area. I was wearing jeans and you know what it's like at that age. One look from a girl and you've got a rock on. The hoover started to suck through the jeans. I was suddenly and uncontrollably, in the words of Jamie Lang, very horny. I didn't quite know what to do with myself, but it felt good. After that point, every time I hoovered, I would find myself sucking it onto my jeans. (laughs) I love this. It became a secret of mine, something my parents were never to know about. One day, after a considerable amount of sucking, I thought, enough's enough, and went to bang out and masturbate in my bedroom. It was great. I never did use the Hoover again, but how many people can say Henry Hoover was their first sexual encounter? Oh, my God. I like that. I like that. That's That's great. Uh, We have uh, another one from Johnny on Instagram. Who says this, how do you submit stories for the show? Because I have an absolute incredible one, which is a friend of a friend and proven true. There's photo evidence. Flat share in London and a girl kept thinking stuff had been moved in her bedroom. Started noting where stuff was and was definitely being moved. She confronted her flatmates who promised they weren't going in her room. She knew someone was, so set up a motion sensor security camera hidden in her room. God, I'm excited. A few weeks later, she gets a notification while sat in the office at work that motions have been Mm. detected. She thinks, ah, amazing, I've got them. Assuming it was one of her flatmates in her room. So while sat in the office, surrounded by colleagues, she opens the app to see who's in her room to discover... I just read ahead. I'm go- I can't. I actually can't. No, no, no. Not that in my bedroom on my bed sheet. <laughs> Do you discover that there's three homeless people having an orgy? In her bedroom. <laughs> on her bed. It's, in her bed sheets. That is honestly. That has to be a joke. That needs to be, that needs to be written. That somewhere. is genius. I'm talking two <gasps> men having anal sex whilst one is going down on a woman. 
It was a grown. That's quite a weird way to do it. You wouldn't imagine, would you? I don't know what's more shocking, honey. What would you expect? I don't know. It's quite fun. I think seeing three people having an orgy in your room is a let alone. How did they get in? It was a ground floor flat. And for months, they had been forcing her window up and climbing in. Her no, you're fucking To kidding. have sex. There are screenshots. No, well, where are they, Jack? Yeah, he didn't, I didn't ask for them. I didn't want to see them. Oh, my, we've got to we see the screenshots. That is... Johnny, no, that's the funniest thing you've ever heard. Listeners of this podcast, I'm so you guys knock it out the park no, 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 with but your stories. No, 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 surely not. Give them to me. Yum, 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 yum. I want scrummy, more. Scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. Uh, oh, my tummy isn't quite full yet of <laughs> listeners' messages. Please send more. Oh, please, sir, can I have some more? Knock, knock. Is there room at the end for more listeners? I think there is. Anything else you want to give? No. Okay, all right. Please send in your listeners' messages. At Newlyweds Podcast on Instagram, please send us your stories or you can send us an email, newlyweds at jampopproductions.co.uk. We'll leave all the links below. That was genius. That was amazing. That's the end of listeners' messages. So today, <clears throat> yeah, I gave you a prank. You pranked me, sister. I pranked you. Can Grab I just it. say before this prank came in, okay, I phoned you up and I was like, where are you? And you were like, I'm having a meeting. Because you said you were having a meeting, I got suspicious. But you actually were having a meeting. You weren't lying about oh that. Oh my God, yeah. You called me and you said, where are you? And I said, I'm at the studio. And you said, doing what? And I said, having a meeting for Wednesdays. That made me suspicious. Oh, I, oh that was me. I, didn't eat, I hadn't even started the prank then. Yeah, I know, I know. That's what made me become suspicious. So basically you're saying I'm not a businesswoman? No, you are a businesswoman. You're honey. saying you're putting my business ethic down. No, I'm not putting any ethic anywhere. Okay? <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm, you're, you're disrupting my work ethic. I'm not disrupting anything, honey. Listen, honestly, you're, 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 a, you're a mogul, you're a boss. <laughs> Biatch, is that the thing? You're a female boss. 100% you boss me. You're and, a male boss. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you pranked me, didn't you? Oh, boy, I did, sister. So, guys, if you want to hear what happens when I prank Jamie, listen to this. Okay, guys, listen. I've organised a fake tattoo of Jamie's face. I'm going to get it tattooed onto my back. It's fake, obviously, so it'll wash off, but he doesn't know that, and I'm going to pretend it's real and see his reaction. All right. All right, then. Okay. All right. Oh. So we're getting on the corridor. I don't know if I can do it. Do you think he's going to come here in time? Oh. <laughs> There's no way in hell Sophie has moved. You don't know what it is. There's no way that's real. This is the main man. I actually don't know if this is a joke or not. <laughs> you have not got my face tattooed on you. You knew you knew me. Are you joking, Sophie? <laughs> Are you joking? No, it's so good. That's not real. Yeah, it is. So if it's not real, just just don't, because that's not. Do you not like it? Because there's just no way. There's, there's no way. Look, just your your unfortunately too vain to get my <laughs> face tattooed on you. There's no way in the hell that can be real. It's your birthday. We, we organised it all for you. My birthday present is you getting my... Don't look upset, Sophie. Don't you... Have a look at it. Go and have a look. Do you not like it? It's my face tattooed on your body. Yeah, and yours forever. We're married. You don't need to do that. You're joking. It's not real. This is all... Out. Yeah. No, it's not. It's fake. It's not. Hey! Oh, God! How long were we having to keep that up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was really waiting. Wait, firstly, did you think I was pranked? What do you mean? Well, because I, 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 I don't know if I was. And the funny thing was... Well, no, that you weren't because you knew it wasn't a prank. Emily came in afterwards. Emily Champion, who's been on Wednesdays, came in afterwards. And you said, look at my tattoo. And she went, mm, it's not. <laughs> straight, straight. It was a huge face of me on I this... know, we should have gone smaller. Why? Who decided the face? We did. We thought it would be funny. But if you had gone for, like, my name... Not my face tattooed on your hip. Oh, shit, we should have done the name. Well, there's always an issue. So, do you really think that I thought you were going to get... Okay, well, anyway, I did do something nice because you've been complaining, yep, yep, yep. I'm not a loving girlfriend. 
Wife. You always You're my wife. Oh sorry, I am your wife. <laughs> you forget you it. You always every time. say that I'm not a you always say I'm a good cook. Yeah. So I baked you a cake. Get out of here. Yeah, well now can you be grateful about that? Get out of here. You baked so, me a cake. That's better than a suitcase, right? Yes. Didn't see you getting blood, sweat, and tears into a cake like I did. You made me a cake? Are you serious? Yeah. Your hats below. What? You've got a hat below. Now look. What? It's a bit messy. The way you did not make this for me. It's not the look, it's not the prettiest because it went a bit wrong, but it tastes bloody. Honey, I'm just going to put it out there, okay? I live with you and I didn't see you uh, bake anything. Yes, I know, because I did it when you were gone. <laughs> Where was I? You were at work. <laughs> <laughs> so just quickly before I eat it, and I'm sure I, you did. Who else you all... made that? I didn't buy a cake that looks I'm also messy. not 39. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. Your real age is and we're real on this podcast. <laughs> my, I'm not. You can look at my birth certificate. I'm not 39. Okay, fine. So honey, what is this cake? Well, you're three then. <laughs> okay, where is? This cake, I made it for you. But really, Jamie, it, like you're, you should be grateful, and you should also always think that I haven't done things. That's not very kind. Happy birthday, Kate, Jamie. What is the is that my writing? I don't know, honey. Well, then you don't know your wife very well. Okay, can I have a bite of it? Yeah, you can have a bite of it. But also, I'm actually a bit pissed off that you're trying to like make out that I firstly haven't made this cake. You asked me to be affectionate. You asked me to do all of these things. And now you're not even grateful for it. Honey, I just don't think you made this cake. Well, then who else made the cake? I think Jemima did. That's so not fair. What the hell is that smell? <laughs> what is that smell? What is that smell? That's so rude. What is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Eat it. That's so rude. Oh. Fine, I'm not. You're, that's no sex for a year. That is the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> what is that? You poisoned me. You've tried you've done this on purpose. I'm going to die on this. So, what is that? Try that. I made that for you. No, you did not make that I at all. I did make that for you. Smell that. No. I'm Sophie, not... smell that cake. No, I'm not smelling it because that's I the worst made cake. It. That's so rude. Now, you've just admitted you've shown your true colours in front of everyone now. What is that? So smell that. <laughs> Get in there. That is the worst tasting thing I've ever had in my life. What is that? Be honest. You didn't make that. Uh, oh my God. <sighs> what the fuck is in that, Jemima? Jemima made it. I knew it. I knew it. I, didn't... I, I actually have to put that away from me. That is I didn't worst. see you, babe. That is garlic powder in there, 100%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there's Producer garlic Jemima. powder in there. Yeah, we made you a little birthday cake. Well, you're a vampire. What is it? <laughs> so it's a nice Victor. It's a Victoria sponge. Yeah. Um, with salt, soy, and um, stock powder in the sponge, and then the um, <laughs> icing. Sophie suggested adding some hot sauce to the icing, which actually tasted really nice. So I also added um, HP mustard, garlic powder, and paprika. You also, like, could at least pretend, like, there's no shame in you. You don't even go along with it for the fun. Because, honey, I know you so well. Okay, well, fine then. Can I just put it out there quickly, honey? I, you organised, you didn't, you made a prank cake. You pranked me with my It's not even your birthday. Tattoo. Let's wait till your real birthday and, and see what happens. And just for everyone to, to know this, for Sophie's birthday, if you listen to last episode, it was last episode, no, the episode before Halloween, I organised a flash mob to sing you happy birthday. I wrote you the most wonderful letter. Letter? I, I did. I gave you a letter on your birthday. Yeah, a card. Well, a I card. Would write you a card. Too. Yeah, that you cried to because it was so sweet. Jamie, honestly, you're ridiculous. Okay, and and also what I I haven't shared with anyone is I even created a song for Sophie. Um, so I'm going to play the song that I made for you for your birthday. Mm. And everyone's gonna see what a wonderful person I am.
Look at that. Anyway, get you. That's it. Turn out ten stars for you, but you don't even know what I plan for you on your real birthday. Well, I'm gonna wait and see. Hey, put your hat on before the end of the show. Oh. I tell you what, my biggest birthday present was. What pardon? is the one that you actually gave me? Because you know how much I love doing this, and it's just fantastic in every single way. And I can't believe we're waiting till the end of the show to announce this. We're going on tour. We're going on tour, We're baby. We're going on tour. Say it again to me. We're going on tour. We're going on tour. We're going on tour. We're going to London. We're going, Dublin. We're going to Dublin. We're going to Manchester. We're going to Birmingham. We're going to Birmingham. And we're going to Glasgow. Yeah. And, and then there may be other dates. So anyway... We're going on tour, guys. If you haven't seen our Instagram post, um, you may not have seen it. Sophie dressed up as Madeline Monroe, sang me happy birthday. It was amazing. But guys, we're going on freaking tour for my birthday, the Newlyweds tour. Not for your birthday. I know it's not for my but it was my present that you gave. Yeah, but we're going on tour. Okay, so... Um, we're going on tour. We're doing, there's only a limited amount of tickets available. Not very many tickets again, guys. So get your little skaters on. Get your little skaters on. Go and grab them. There's also some VIP tickets as well. Pre-sale goes on Thursday the 9th of November. So sign up to the pre-sale and then the sale, when you can go and buy it, is on Friday the 10th. Just to warn you guys, last time we put tickets on sale, they went out in under a minute. So I just want to be one. If you want tickets, you got to go and grab them. We're just so excited. We can't wait to see you all around the country. Have fun with you. What's, I mean, we're going to do some crazy stuff. So Oh, you just you just got to be there to find out. Oh, I love the secrecy. Mm. We're going on tour. We just can't wait. Also, if we, you can send your messages, can't they? Please send us your messages in if you're getting married. Or oh, just in general, <laughs> even if you're not getting married. I really haven't had a coffee date yeah, and I am no. sinking into it. You're a... on fire, baby, as oh, always. Oh, you are on fire, too, You look sister. cute as anything. If you want to send in your messages, we want to hear from you. Yum, yum, yum. Feed scrummy, me. scrummy, scrummy. Scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. Send them to at Newlyweds Podcast. Instagram, sign into our DMs. Or send us an email, newlyweds at jampopproductions.co.uk. And if you haven't subscribed already to this wonderful podcast, please go and do. And we're also on YouTube. Newlyweds podcast. You can watch us. <laughs> All right. A lot happened today. We're going on fucking tour. All right, everybody. We're going to see you next week. But before then, if you're getting married, good luck. If you're getting divorced, you are epic. If you're getting engaged, oh, yeah. If you're thinking about getting engaged, oh, my goodness, just go do it. And if you're single, you are on fire. Yeah, baby. Have the greatest time. We Have the greatest you. week. We can't Goodbye. wait to see you on tour. Goodbye. Go and get your tickets. The link is in the description Bye. right now. Go and grab them, baby. We'll see you later. Goodbye. See you next Monday. Bye.